welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and this time we're going to be focusing on the acrylic application so as you can see there i added the monomer to the dappen dish and then i also added a little bit of acetone just because i've heard that this helps the mia secret acrylic system set a lot faster because as we all know the mia secret acrylic is a bit runny so that's really my only issue with it um as you can see it's holding its shape really good once i apply the acetone again only like two or three or even probably four drops of acetone into your monomer um, into the actual little dappen dish so i did one layer of acrylic and then i'm going back and just adding the little gold pieces of foil and this is my actual speed and then eventually i am going to go ahead and speed it up but whenever i'm doing the encapsulated foil i always do a layer of acrylic and then i come back and encapsulate it with the clear acrylic again this is my mia secret acrylic system i'll leave the link in the description to where you can find it um i usually buy from amazon but um nail supply glamour also has it and i'm working on getting a promo code through them so you guys can get a discount but as always i'm also using my mia secret acrylic system sorry not mia secret but my alpha brush in the number nine and i do have a promo code for them which is natalie 10 so just be sure to use that during checkout to get 10 percent off your order but again i'm just encapsulating that gold foil remember that when you're encapsulating anything whether it's glitter whether it's foil just anything make sure that you're encapsulating it really good that way whenever you come back to file you're not going to file any of your pieces off so make sure also that when you're doing this you're brushing the acrylic out to where it's really really smooth that way you don't have to do a lot of filing at the end and also making sure that we look at our nail from different angles to make sure that we have a nice thickness all over the nail as well as a nice apex so as you see there the last bead that I did was just to build my apex. So as you can see, I just placed the bead closer to the cuticle area and just gently brushed it down towards the tip. And that's just going to give us that stress area, which is right there closer to the cuticle area. So I'm just going ahead and putting my foil up. And then for the rest of the nails, I'm just going to be using my regular Mia Secret Pink um, because they're just going to be regular and not clear, I guess. I'm going to do polish over these so it doesn't matter if I use the clear acrylic or not. So again, this is in the color pink by Mia Secret, which is a really translucent pink. You could barely even tell that it's pink if you can see. But we're going to go ahead and finish the set off. But as always, I just do a bead of acrylic right in the middle where the natural nail and the tip meets. I place another one right below that one, one above it, and then one over the entire nail to build our apex. So as you can see, I've already um, sped the video up so you can kind of get a faster. I mean, I don't want to be sitting here all day because I know there's people that don't like the long videos. But anyways, um, honestly, I do feel like the acetone does help with the acrylic setting a lot faster. And again, I think I already said this, but I think I'm going to be doing this for all of my sets now. Just adding a little bit of acetone into your monomer. Um, and that's going to help with the acrylic not being as runny. So we're going to go ahead and finish the set off and then we'll be back in a second.
Alrighty, so same thing, placing the bead right in the middle where the natural nail and the tip meet, brushing it down towards the tip, making sure that it's nice and smooth and that you are not brushing down too hard because if not, you're going to be brushing that acrylic off the nail. Once we have that first bead, we're going to go ahead and apply another one closer to the tip, or sorry, closer to the cuticle area. And remember, if your first bead is big enough and you have a nice thickness at the tip, then you don't have to go back and add that second bead at the tip. That's why it's really important to look at the nail from different angles. That way you can determine where you need to add more acrylic at. So you don't necessarily have to stick to the three ball method, four ball method. Just look at the nail and it's going to tell you where you need to add more acrylic. All right, so once we finish applying the acrylic, we're gonna go in and just reshape the nails. Remember, this step is something that you don't wanna skip. No matter how good your shape might look, sometimes you still have those rough edges around the nail. So make sure that you come back and reshape the nails. Since this is a coffin shape, we're doing a 45 degree angle on the sides and filing the free edge at exactly a 90 degree angle. It's really important that you get those angles really good because again, if you don't file the free edge at a 90 degree angle, you're not gonna have that super straight free edge. So again, this is a 100 100, 100 nail file we're just reshaping the nails and once we're done reshaping them we're gonna go ahead and file them with the e-file Alrighty, so now I'm just going to go in with the e-file and this is my actual speed. So as you can see, I go around the cuticle area really gently making sure that we don't cut their cuticles. And as always, I'm using a fine drill bit. So as you can see, this one is a little bit different or I guess just a different color. But all of the ones that I use to file the acrylic are fine drill bits. I'm going to go ahead and speed it up a little bit. But as always, just file around the cuticle area really, really good. Making sure that you seal that acrylic because if not, you will get lifting. So just do this until you're able to see where the cuticle is, where the natural nail is, and where the acrylic is. That way you know that the acrylic is not on the skin. And then also just make sure that you file the rest of the nail to make sure that it's all nice and smooth. Also keep in mind that if you are a beginner and you're still not able to have like a smooth application, just make sure that you spend a little bit more time on this part, just making sure that you file them really, really good until they're all nice and even. So make sure that you look at the nail from different angles to see where you have those bumps and lumps to file them out because nothing else is going to take away those bumps other than filing. I know sometimes I see people asking in the comments, how do you get the nails nice and smooth? And this is literally the only way. You could also use a hand file, of course. Um, you don't always have to use an e-file or you don't even need an e-file to do a full set. But it does help with speed and getting around that cuticle area really, really good. So again, if you are a beginner, make sure that you spend a little bit more time with your filing to, for one, you know, seal the cuticle area really good to prevent lifting. And then also to get that really smooth finish um, because sometimes as a beginner, it's hard to get really smooth nails or not as thick, I guess. So you're just going to have to do a little bit more file. Not everyone, but you know for most cases as beginners we are unable to get really smooth nails Yeah. 
So once we're done filing the nail, we're going to go in with the buffer. And this is just going to get rid of any of the scratches left on the nail from the hand file or the e-file. So make sure that you buff them really, really good. And then also make sure that after you buff each nail, you go back and fill on the nail with your thumb to make sure that it's nice and smooth. If not, you come back and buff a little bit more. So after we're done buffing, we're just going to wipe the nails off with an alcohol wipe or of course you could have your client go wash their hands, whatever works for you. And after this, we're going to go in with our polish. So I'm using this D&D gel polish in the color Fuchsia Touch. I know a lot of you ladies love this color and my clients are loving it too. So we're just applying this one on this middle finger and then for the rest of the nails on this hand, we're going to be applying a really pretty yellow in the color My Chick by Madam Glam. As always, I do have a promo code for Madam Glam, so I'll be sure to leave that down in the description. But for the other hand, it's going to be the opposite of this. So we're going to do the middle finger with the yellow, and then we're going to do the rest of the nails with the Fuchsia Touch. Again, the Fuchsia Touch, which is the pink color, is by D&D. &D. And then this yellow in the color My Chick is by Mia, or sorry, Madam Glam. Alrighty, so after doing the first coat on each hand and curing for 30 seconds, we're just applying a second coat on both hands and curing for another 30 seconds.
Alrighty, also make sure that you go back and clean around the cuticle area. And I also wanted to make sure to mention that when you see me doing this, that's just me wiping off the sides of the nails to make sure that we're able to keep that nice sharp shape. I know a lot of people always say that after they apply gel polish, the gel polish takes away from your shape. But if you just gently like not wiping off, but literally just tapping the sides, that's going to help from taking your shape if that makes sense but anyways we're just applying some bling on the nails so i applied the big pieces with the heart gel as you can see on the yellow nail i applied the yellow bling and then on a pink nail i applied the pink bling and we cured that for 30 seconds and then now we're just going in with the mia secret gel resin ss6 ss12 and my wax pencil and we're just applying the bling on the other nails as well once we have all of the bling on the rest of the nails we're going to spray them with the activator and then we're going to go through and apply the ibd gel top coat We're curing that for 60 seconds and then we're going to do the same thing on this hand. So again, we applied the Mia Secret Gel Resin. We applied the bling with the wax pencil. And then once all of the bling is on the nails, we're going to go through and spray the activator spray. And the Mia Secret Gel Resin Activator, basically it just dries the glue a lot faster. Since it is a gel resin, it's a bit thicker than a regular nail glue. So that means that it's going to take a little bit longer to dry. But with the activator, it basically instantly dries the glue so I do highly recommend it it's not mandatory that you use it but honestly I feel like it helps that bling stay on a lot long not longer but longer And also, if you notice, even with my top coat, I do come through and just tap the sides of the nails because since the top coat is a little bit thicker, I don't want it to take away from my shape either. But here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. They turned out really, really pretty. Those colors just go great together and that bling just topped everything off. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram at GetNail32 and I'll see you guys next time.